Oh, this pretty cool, right? Let me show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. First step to change anything into an hologram will be to start with some footage. For that, we're gonna come here into the media pool on the top left, turn that on, select the clip that you want. For me, that's gonna be this one right here where I have a figurine. And for the backstory, this piece here is just a piece of string that I've been using to hang that figurine on a green screen. You can use a fishing string or anything really, that's not really the matter of the problem. For this tutorial, we're gonna keep it clean no need to go into Fusion, we'll do everything from the basic effect of DaVinci, so let's turn that on here in the effect, and we're gonna go into OpenFX, in the search, and start directly for the key. I've gone ahead and done that for you already, but let's drag it and drop it into our clip. Now let's select the clip, turn on the inspector, right on the top here if you don't have it, and then go into Effect, and here we can see that we've got the 3D key at the top. We're gonna select a selector, make sure that we can start to go around the green, so let's have a click, Let's play around and let's make sure we capture as much as that grain as possible, going really close here, making sure that the white is just what we want to keep. So now if we have a look at the mat, we can see that not everything has been removed. We kept a little bit here, I think that's a bit of my arm, that is completely fine, because what I want to keep is mainly that figure in here, so we'll focus on that. And for that, let's go back into the video section, and in the cropping, we can now start to crop from the top, make sure that that arm is removed, not go too far to not cut those legs, we can see a little bit of that dirty, dirty here that we're gonna remove by cropping on the right side as well, right? Let's reset this view, do the same thing on the left, and then from the bottom, again, making sure that as we progress through that clip, we're making sure that that figurine is never cut, so it always look nice and clean. Now, if your keying doesn't turn as great as mine, that's not a problem, you can start fine tuning it into the effect under the matte finesse, playing with the clean white, clean black, but I've made a video in the past about how to chroma key properly with three different ways, um, so I'll invite you to have a look at that. Let's ready to move to the next step. I don't think even an hologram upside down works, so we're gonna flip the footage, bring it to the top, and now we can see that as I'm turning around, it works quite well already. So now we need to change this into a more of an hologram effect. For that, I think some skyline would work just well, so let's add another effect here. Let's search for skyline, drag and drop it into the footage, and you can already see some of that result. Back into the effect under the inspector, let's close the 3D keys, let's open the skyline, and here we will increase the line frequency, maybe around 11, 12, take something that works for you. As we scroll down, we're gonna change the color. The second one here, that white, I'm gonna turn it into a turquoise, or maybe ice, whatever the blue that you want, if you want something more red, gray, or whatever it is, you understood the principle, right? With this, we're already 80% there. If you wanna go all the way there, there is two different ways I can think we can finish this. The first one will be by adding a drop shadow. Simply select it from the effect. Again, drag and drop. As I told you today, we're gonna to keep it simple. Open the drop shadow, change that for the same color as we use for the skyline to make it a little bit more vibrant here. Let's increase the strength all the way to the max. Let's reduce the distance to zero and then let's increase the blur a little bit more. This is gonna give a bit of an aura around it. It doesn't look like much, but if you turn it off, we can see it does make a difference. And if I'm to change the color behind from that to a black, we can see that the shadow is way more stronger. So this is really gonna give us that halo effect as we're gonna get that floating vibe. So that's the first way of doing it. Let's reset things. The second way I like to finish this effect is maybe to use edge detect. This is a nice way to detect where the edges are on the clip. Let's drag and drop it into the clip and we can already see we've got a little bit of that aloe effect already. That's really gonna depend on what you're using and how you want things to work. But still in our inspector under effect, let's open edge detect. And here we've got a nice effect already, getting something that I like a bit more, maybe something a bit more schematic in the feeling like this. And then if I want to go a little bit further, I can come into the global blend here and decide to blend it a little bit less to kind of merge everything together. And with this, we start to get something that's already quite good looking. If we have a look, we're gonna get this edge here. Now, you don't really have to choose between edge detect and drop shadow. If you want to get them both together, you absolutely can. Let's redo that quickly. 
change the distance to zero, the strength to maximum, blur to maximum, and then they absolutely walk together. That's not a problem at all. Now, you might not always have a footage that's already moving together, right? Holograms are not always very static. Sometimes you want a bit of movement to them, breaking the signal or whatever the weakness of things might be. If that's the case, we will have something like this. That's the example of the dark ad at the beginning. So let's redo the same process here. 3D key here, add some skyline, edge detect, and now we've got a nice hologram effect here, but that's very static. So we're gonna throw another effect, which is gonna be a camera shake. So let's look for shake. We got the camera shake here and we can simply drag and drop it. And here we will be able to define the level of shaking that we want. So let's maybe not increase the motion too much, let's increase the speed too much, uh, maybe a little bit of motion blur eventually. Uh, and now we can see that as you move across, that starts moving. By moving with those around here, we will get exactly the same thing in the intro. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you into the next one. Ciao.